These red chilies are normally available in markets somewhere around the period from November to February. Uh, it's almost the same time when you get a lot of uh, pickled material like gooseberries, red chili, green chili, uh, not to mention tang. These are all vegetables or, or fruits, so, or vegetables that you get around this period. And I'm going to make a rice out of this. What I've done is I've taken about 20 red chilies which is about 100, 150 grams of red chilies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mixie. What I'm going to do now is cut these red chilies. I have de-seeded them. I've removed most of the seeds from it so that it doesn't turn to be too spicy. Cut them into pieces of this size. From the 100, 250 grams of red chilies that I've taken, I've held back four slit red chilies. Cut the remaining into pieces of this size. Now they go into the mixi jar. Into this I add some asafoetida or hing. Turmeric powder. A little bit of fenugreek powder. Fenugreek gives it a wonderful aroma. But do not add too much of fenugreek because it could make the dish bitter. Now, salt to taste. Good idea would be to use crystal salt, but today I am using powdered salt. I'm going to pulse this. I'm not going to soft grind this. Pulsing this. You can open it up once to see the consistency. It's still rough as I could. I'd like it to be a little softer than this and therefore I'll pulse it a couple of more times. This is how the consistency is. What I'm going to do is I have one glass of biryani rice soaked in water for about one and a half hours to two hours. I'm going to get this ready for pressure cooking. But before that, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this one glass of rice, which has been soaked in water for about an hour and a half. And I'm going to cook this along with the masala in this. What I'm going to do first is, of course, get the stove heated. Get the pan ready. Add some oil. The whole rice is going to be fried in this, so about more than a tablespoon of, maybe two tablespoons of oil and ghee. The reason I'm using ghee is twofold. One is it adds a new taste when food is cooked in ghee and also because it brings down the spicy tinge to the green uh, red chilies. I'm adding some um, fenugreek seeds, some mustard, some jeera, some hing, and now I add of the three or four red chilies that I've taken, I've slit them. Now I put it into this along with some curry leaves, stir it a little. Now I add again a little bit of fenugreek powder. Now I take this mixture and put it into this. 
mix it. Uh, now that the entire ground masala is into this, mix it well again. Getting this masala to a cook consistency. I have just cooked it for about 2 odd minutes, 2, 3 minutes. You can see that it is reasonably together. Now, I am taking one glass of rice, biryani rice, soaked in water for 1 to 1 and a half hours. Mix this. Add a little salt to this because you remember the salt that you had added earlier was only a proportion to the red chilies. Now you have added rice, so add a little bit of salt. Now I will add about 200 ml of water. Mix this and let, let continue to let it cook on a slow fire. Let us cook this for about 7 minutes and revisit it after 7 minutes and see what is happening with it. To get the proportions right, what I would suggest is for 150 grams of red chili, use about 300 grams of rice. Now, the quantity of rice, whether it is biryani rice or regular rice should be the same, that should not matter. I told you in the beginning I took 250 grams of rice, but I thought that the masala was a little more than the rice, therefore I have added some rice. Now when the rice comes to this consistency where there is a little bit of water, mix it again gently and till the water completely evaporates, let the mixture and the rice cook without the lid so that the cooked rice will now help the water evaporate through the cooking process. In about 10 minutes, 7 minutes of the rice being cooked with the lid on and uh, 2 to 3 minutes with the lid off, this is the consistency of the red chili rice that you will have. It is not over. Now what I am doing is I am adding a whole medium sized lime juice into this. This not only adds to the tang, but it also brings down the overall spicy element in the rice. And I am going to add some more ghee to this rice to give it a nice rich taste. Mix the rice well, but delicately so that the rice does not turn soft. Or even the rice pieces do not break, they remain granular in the bas basumati style. The red chili rice is ready, I will see you at the presentation. Do try out this new dish, I have uh, presented the red chili rice with some kira and a raita made again with kira. So do try it out and let me know your comments. Just a couple of things before I sign off. One is, if you find it a little more spicy, cut down on the uh, mirchi and add up on the rice. Or ensure that the amount of rice is enough to cut down on the spice. That is as simple as that. Acknowledgements to Abhina for the editing and Abhina, uh, also acknowledgements to Datu for doing the camera work and Ritika for navigating this entire thing for me. Thank you all. Have a nice day and do write back on how you liked this new recipe, red chili rice. So long. Bye-bye.